Welcome back guys to the DIY HVAC Guy YouTube channel. In my line of work as an HVAC contractor, I'm in and out of a lot of people's homes working on various pieces of HVAC equipment, and I see a lot of issues when it comes to carbon monoxide detectors. So we're gonna discuss two things in this video. One is where you should place your carbon monoxide detector, and number two, which carbon monoxide detector I recommend. Believe it or not, this is the one that I see in just about every home, and this is not the one that I recommend. So let's get into it. So first, let's talk about location. Uh, you want to have a carbon monoxide detector on every level of the home, including the basement. And in addition to that, you want it to be within 10 feet of any sleeping quarters. Now for placement on the wall, this is actually incorrect because of the fact that this is a carbon monoxide and a smoke detector. A smoke detector requires that you have the smoke detector within 12 inches or at least 12 inches from every corner. So I know it's not as ideal, you wanna kind of have this hidden, but you need to have it at least 12 inches from the corner. The carbon monoxide portion doesn't matter if you put it in the corner. Um, there is misconceptions about carbon monoxide. Some people say to put this uh, within five feet of the floor, or some say to put it as low as possible. Others say it doesn't matter. But the truth is, is that carbon monoxide has the same density as air. So it's going to be anywhere where air is, and it really doesn't matter where this is located. Now remember the sources of carbon monoxide. That's gonna be your gas furnace, your gas stove, your gas water heater. And uh, many people say that you don't wanna be putting this too close to those items. Now, when this piece of equipment goes off and it's not an actual threat, that's called a false positive. And what happens that I've seen a lot is people will take, a, uh, take the batteries out or they'll just smash this thing and they'll just be fed up and then your family will be unprotected from smoke and carbon monoxide. Now I'm gonna talk about why I do not prefer this particular carbon monoxide and smoke detector. This smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector has to read 70 parts per million for an extended period of time for this alarm to actually sound. Now the one that I prefer is this one. It has a digital readout and it will it will function the same as this one, 70 parts per million before this starts to beep, but this right here will monitor that much lower number well before this actually starts to make any noise. So that's the huge advantage when it comes to having a digital readout on your carbon monoxide detector. So let's imagine a scenario in which you do have a carbon monoxide leak. Maybe you have a slight crack in the heat exchanger of your furnace and you've got 40 parts per million in your home. This is going to register, but it's not going to show anything on here, and it's gonna take 10 hours before this actually starts beeping at you. Whereas this one will do the same thing. It'll, it'll wait 10 hours before this will beep, but well before that, every time you walk past it, you can take a look at this, and if you see it says 20, 30, 40, you know that there's a problem. And so that's the advantage to having a digital readout. Now, I know a lot of you guys prefer to have something that has both combined because it's convenient. I will leave a link in the description for this one, as well as a smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector that also has a digital readout. So you can still uh, read this up on your ceiling or wherever you have it mounted, and you can feel better about knowing if there's an issue and being preemptive about that. Well, if you have any other questions, whether it's uh, having to do with carbon monoxide or any HVAC related questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I really appreciate any feedback. I read all of you guys' comments and I truly appreciate it. Uh, it's getting cold here in Salt Lake City um, and with the heating season coming up, our gas bills are, are climbing. Check out this video and I'm gonna show you an effective way to lower your gas bill this coming winter season. 